So hello peeps, this is the budget Pixel 4a that I am using, aka Redmi Note 10, when I installed the latest Android 13 Pixel Experience Beta update. So you wanted to know what's in this update and what you should have to do. So be with me until the last of the video. So let's get started. First of all, this video is being divided into two parts. First, first is the installation, second is the review part. So if you want to know the review part, I will give the timestamp in the description. So let me start with the installation part. So guys, this is the installation part and here you have to just reboot your device into whichever recovery you are using. Just you have to click on the restart button and do the power up button until the device reboots and I am going to plug in my pen drive through my device. So whenever it comes, you can see the pen drive storage internally because Android 12 isn't and Android 13 isn't being decrypted ROMs. So you might face issues with that. So you have to just wait for it and you have not seen that I am in orange fox ring. So guys, you can see this, this, this is now booted into orange fox recovery. Now you have to just go on the USB storage option and you have to just select the pixel experience module to beta which is now I have given the link in the description of the recovery image. You have to download and just flash it over the boot and it gets started flashing. You can see this, this flashing start process has been started. This method also works with the ADB side load method because my laptop is not working and having some bugs problems issues that's why I'm not making over the laptop you have to just click reboot recovery after whenever it reboots into recovery I will help you out how to install this room on your device so let me wait for the booting into recovery mode so as if you can see this this is now finally booted into the recovery and you have to just click on apply update choose from OTG and here you can see this pixie experience module to 13 beta and you have to just click on that. From here you can see the installation method methods get started and this is now gets installed in 5 to 7 minutes. You can see this. It gets started and it com get completed in 5 to 7 minutes. You have to wait for that and after that you can just do a format data and res uh, reset. After that it will get booted into the pixel experience room. This is the review section of the video and firstly I got covered you the benchmark onto it. So firstly, I will want to show you the Ant2 benchmark that I have run in my device and I get pretty much scores which is similar and in which I got 2,76,967 which is pretty much average score, average not much much um, greater than average. CPU I scored 14,1533 as you can see this, there is a 4 degree Celsius up in temperature which is too much and 2% of battery drop as you can see this. And if you ask me for the storage test, I didn't run because storage test sometimes lag and closes the app forcefully. And I just want to show you another CPU throttling test like those things. Here's the CPU throttling test. First of all, when I run this test without any benchmark performance mode, I got a 74% max performance with 170. 1,76,000 max GIPS and minimum is up to 1,17,000 which is normal and the, it is showing our CPU clock speed is 2.20 GHz which is run for the 15 minutes and throttle 74% without any performance mode and this is the result when I took the performance mode through the optimization profiles and you are uh, being to see that it got a 3% max performance with 1,80,000 max GIPS and minimum 131761 GIPS. The max clock speed is same here 2.20 GHz and it is ran for 8 minutes 56 seconds. After that I also ran Geekbench many times and I will let you see what the scores that I got. Here from history you can see this, this is a score ran with the normal mode and this is with the performance mode. In performance mode you got the 521 single core score which is pretty app awesome and 1424 that which is not too good but yeah you can use that with the with the room. Benchmarks doesn't decide that your device is good or not good and the second part is I will help you to see that the battery states in the settings. 
First of all, all the network and internet settings were working fine. Bluetooth I have able to connect and use. In apps, you get the default tabs in which I see it is called here you can get the pixel launch. You also get optimization profiles in battery. So here you can optimize your profiles. Battery usage is also given. You can see the battery usage of my device and you can easily see that I am getting a best battery from here. You can enable battery percentage from here. It will get enabled. I know this video is too late to give you but I am very very sorry because of the festival Navratri is going on and everywhere there is too much noise that's why I can't give the video to you. And in the display section you get normal C settings no nothing has been changed because it's pixel experience room. Wallpaper and theme you get the much more color palettes as you can see here from here you can change and you get the preview of that here. Theme icon is here, app grid is here available so. After that I will help you out with the security settings that I am getting fingerprint both. And here the safety things system you get the gestures option and it is in beta phase so you are getting a plus and normal version of this room. Here's the gesture navigation option here you can see this and guys if you found this helpful then please drop a like to the video for sake of YouTube algorithm. Here you get all the Android 13 updates from here. You can see this the Android 13 Easter egg is now available with this. You can see this is, looks pretty much good and yeah you are getting kernel version of pixel experience and build number as you can see is mentioned. So this is the benchmark of parts that I have run in the device and what's mind review you can see that the battery is good you can use that as your daily driver this is already device certified room so you aren't getting any issues you can run your banking apps easily there is no lag I have faced the opening and closing speed of animations are so so not good not bad but it is a beta update so we might see in the future which comes a stable build so and you can use it as your daily driver I have seen all the features were working so you can use that for whenever you a company push the update for a beta version to stable version and I haven't get any issues with the battery also so if you like the videos please hit a drop a like to the like button and subscribe to the channel please let me complete 100 subscriber by the end of this month so please 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 help me to get completed thanks